What's up? I hope everybody's having a good evening. I am having a fantastic day. Why? Because it's over and I'm playing Star Wars Saga. Anyway, we actually have a plan. Somebody took control and said, hey, two people go grass and everybody else go middle. I like that. I especially like it when it looks like it'll be fruitacious. Go stop that guy. Flashbang, flashbang, flashbang! Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm getting choked. And now he's about to do his thing on me. I knew this was coming. I will not let you do that, yo. Oh man. Turret locked on Imperial ship now firing. Okay. Where'd he go? I know he's still around, y'all. One battery firing. Good work. I know there he is, I just saw him. I just saw you. I saw you over there. Where'd my guy go? Holy cow. Mm -hmm, I knew you was coming. Nope, I'm not letting you do that, man. Oh, man. Come over here. Who's the healer? Oh, I gotta melt that healer. All right. Oh, did we lose one? I guess we did. I guess we did. Anyway, flashing the spec again. Try to do this in all my videos just so you get an idea of what I'm doing in case you want to follow what I do. I'm not saying what I do is the best because I don't... I do look at some sites just to kind of get a general idea, but if I like a talent just because I like what it does or, or I like the ability and it might not necessarily be the place to put your points at, I'm going to do it just because I like it. <laughs> yeah, this is, I mean, I know you can sit there and max men and you can nitpick at all these, you know, man, if you get this, you get that half a percent extra DPS and all that stuff, but it's, it's not about that for me anymore. I used to be that way maybe two years ago. And, uh, you know, trying to squeeze every amount of what you should do or what you should be and really in the end it's just about having fun if you're not having fun then uh, you don't want to play that's pretty much what happened to me uh, I do love to raid I don't do it because I don't have the time anymore I used to dedicate hours and hours at it you know right two three hours and even though two three hours isn't that long compared to, to what it used to be Okay, I'm not gonna sit here. Okay, we're not okay now. Where's that healer at? I want a healer. Mm -hmm. hmm. There's just so many people to shoot at. Stay on the heels. Alright, we got the healer there. Man, it's gotta be tough to be a healer in this game. <sighs> anyway. So yeah, and I do put that in my 
description of that. I'm just a casual gamer. I, watching me play, uh, I, I'm not saying what I do is the best thing to do. Most of y'all that watch me know that. I'm just having fun and recording it. <laughs> so I do love it though. Some people make suggestions and um, I read those suggestions and I do usually uh, put them into my rotation or my plan just because most of the time they're good. Um, sometimes that's what it boils down to is the little things, right? Why is that not stopping him? From this. Get off my sucker. I'll just say two grass. I'll try to heal this guy. I'm trying to heal you, man. Most, most of the time, the problem I have is I play too many stupid characters. I love them all, but when you do a rotation of eight characters and I have four Empire that I play on the side every now and then, you tend to forget, oh, what was the talents and how they did? Because, you know, as you go up the talent, right, things change. You should do this instead of that more and whatnot. I don't really know what it is with this character. I mean, it hasn't happened, I don't think, with this one, but I know, like, for instance, with the Scoundrel, if you have a dot, or if, or if the target has a bleeding effect when you do the Sucker Punch, it'll come right back. You can, you'll get, I forgot what the buff's called, but you'll get that buff back again, and you can do it again. So obviously, you want to make sure you don't Sucker Punch somebody unless they have a dot or physical bleeding effect on them, so that's you. And most of the time, they might already have somebody else beating on them, but I, I even tend to kind of keep doing it in my rotation in case I 1v1 somebody. I know i got to put a dot on them. But as you go up the tree, when you get to that top, I forgot what it is, that top ability, I think it automatically puts a dot, so I won't have to put the dot anymore when I get the top ability on my tree. So the little things like that that make a big difference, and when you play eight characters... Yeah, by the time you get down to the seventh one and you're back to the top when you're like, oh, what I gotta do? I gotta go read the talent trees and look at the talent trees and try to figure out, oh yeah, this is what I did too, or this is what I need to do. I gotta basically relearn the character every time. It gets crazy. So I do have an idea. Um, and then right now, as I'm getting up in level, it's taking me longer to level in PvP. Uh, like for instance right now I'm going to take Gak up to 37 before I move to the next tune. I think once all my tunes hit 37 though on the Republic side, I believe, don't hold this to me, I'm going to start doing every level. That way you'll see more videos of the different tunes faster and uh, and I'll get, you know, I'm thinking of cutting it down to every level instead of every two levels because it was working at first every two levels because it wasn't taking me that long to get through two levels. Now it's taking me long. I was taking a long time to get through two levels. If I PvP mostly, here we go, here's the bad guy, it wouldn't because I don't think the double rest XP counts towards um, experience in a PvP war zone. Alright. Nope, we're not doing that, sucker. Let us see some grass. Typing? Oh, look what we got over here. Look what we got over here. Yeah, you stay on him. Uh oh, better run. Over there. I'll keep you busy while that guy finishes the other guy. Off. Oh, we got it now, guy. Heck, Miami and my boy got it. We got it. Anyway, this is pretty much over. 
But anyway, that's my idea. So I'm gonna start maybe just doing every level, so you get to see more. Or I, I might even, or so I don't get stagnant on like one guy, like the scoundrel videos. I must have did ten of those, but I actually probably played like 30 war zones with that tune. One, one some, lost some. I put some lost ones up because if a game's good and close, I win or lose, it's worth putting putting it up to me. I like. I like close games better than I like uh, blowout games, win or lose. But, uh. So that's, that's what I think I'm gonna start doing, is every level. That way, and then maybe I won't have to be such a noob and relearn everything again. Or it might be worse, I'll get brain overload and pop. We'll see. I had some other ideas too, but. That's. I feel about it now, and I know that this video probably was boring as hell to watch, especially since uh, we didn't fight too many people. Who's the guy with me? This was the guy with me. The Silex guy. But, uh, we won, huh? Anyway, thanks for watching. Wow, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Click on any one of these video links to check out more. If you would like to help me stay out of fire traps, prevent me from being force pushed off of bridges, and to make me feel like a ninja, be a subscriber today. Take care.